Hello everybody, it's me again. Today we're going to talk about the new version of the Tau Toolkit that just came out. And we're going to go over some of the highlights for it. And then uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I kind of want to focus on one of the highlights. If they now integrated Tensor Board into it, so that's pretty cool. We'll be able to uh, monitor our models as they train and, uh, you know, compare them. Uh, the different ones as we try to tweak and on uh, items as we're training so let's get going so first of all you'll come to the nvidia tal toolkit this uh, landing page right here was laid out very nicely you'll uh, nvidia tal toolkit create highly accurate customized production ready ai models to power your speech and computer vision ai applications and they go over of uh a lot of the, what it's about, the key benefits, train models easy, build highly accurate AI, optimize her inference, deploy with ease. And then they have a lot of embedded videos that do explain, like, uh, focus on uh, the things they're trying to get across. So that's pretty good. Key features. Uh, Here's the one we're going to go over. Visualize the interface with TensorBoard. That's going to be neat. And another one is import Onyx model weights. That's another one. So uh, we go up here and uh, to download the Tau. It'll come to this. And this is the requirements and prerequisites. So when it tells you how to install it. Uh, it has you load Conda this time. They're going to run it through Conda. And then uh, get your uh, Jupyter Notebooks. You run this right here. And what it'll do, it'll bring down this. You get this CV samples version 1.4.0. This will have all your Jupyter Notebooks in there. Like all the ones, PeopleNet, uh, License Plate to TechNet, and then your favorites, you know, YOLO4, um, uh, DetectNet, all that will be in there. And then it tells you how to run the Jupyter Notebooks. And then here's some more links. And then the getting started right here. This is uh, start creating custom AA models with the NVIDIA Tel Toolkit goes over the highlights and uh, the download the towel we were just there uh, more embedded videos is really good they're very helpful uh, where to get in extra information the, the developer blog the webinars uh, developer starter resources you know I got to give it to the towel toolkit they they did a very good of laying out their pages and and explaining things and, and embedding information. They did like a super good job of like uh, getting the information out there that you need. So there's more stuff, uh, featured video tutorial like and uh, additional resources. I mean, there's a lot of help here for what you need, but we're gonna focus on this. The visualize AI model training metrics with TensorBoard. So uh, once you download, um, you get Tau uh, loaded up and stuff like that. Um, we're going to, we want to visualize the training with TensorBoard. So if you go to like the resources and there's a little uh, page right here, visualize, visualizing using TensorBoard and then it goes through it. It goes through all the, what models you can use it with. Here's a demo to do it. Um, you have to add this right here to the spec files to get them to run. This little snippet of code, installing, installing TensorBoard, you install it right here. Uh, invoking the TensorBoard, this is how you bring it to come up. And then you can do a couple, you can, uh, what's nice about this is you can take the TensorBoard and you can uh, um, run two models together. So, but we're going to, let's, let's go over that. So what we do is, uh, to get TensorBoard to run, so what I've done is I've got, um, my Tau toolkit running and I've got um, the TechNet. We're going to look over some the TechNet tensor boards and some YOLO V4 tensor boards. So what we'll do is look, let's look at the TechNet. So basically you load the TechNet like you normally do. 
put your key in here uh, put your local project directory here and mine is tau experiments detect net and uh, you put that in there and you run all this you do your mounts but anyway so then you do all the normal stuff you normally do to prepare your model to be trained but here's the thing when you get to your specs folder let's see right here uh, your, your your the spec folder and the the, the training text uh, this is where you got to do the modification some of them already come with the modification but if not you'll have to do that so you go here you add this if I can get to it right here training config visualizer enable true number of images so we're actually going to go to that spec file so you go to here and a lot of times you go to your specs folder and that's that's where you'll find them so right here uh, and, you, and you'll have to add this a lot of times this isn't there so this is in the spec folder training config visualizer enable true number of images three you add that right there and then what it does is it, it runs a an events folder and it puts all the events in there and then the, the the tensor board reads this right here to show the results and it'll run it'll read it as it's act the model is actually r running so to do that this is what it looks like. So what I've done is I've uh, I've logged into my right here the YOLO four folder Tau Experiments YOLO four right here. And what I did is I'm there's I have I did a, a, a three I did three models I trained right here and this is the one we're going to look at this is the fault file folder that will build as it's running normally so we're going to just look at this one for now experiments directory unprune so what we'll do is we'll do this i'm going to close stop it and start it you run you make sure you log into cd into the folder tensorboard log directory experiment directory unpruned which is this host port and what you do is you come up here you can copy this and like put it up in here and then enter but since I've already got it running I'm just gonna refresh it and it, and it shows it there and it, there's a lot of stuff in here you know this is the AP for the car the cyclist the loss right here the validation loss you can actually move these and you can see what happened as it trained uh, let's see the map and then what also it does is it, it does the images also it's pulled the images as it trained I've only got 20 steps in there because I, I that's what I use 20 epochs excuse me because that's what I, I wanted to run through these very quickly just to show examples. You can go back to the different epochs right here. Double click on this, get it in closer. And you can tell how well, uh, you know, as it as it went through the epochs, how well it, how it got better and better. And then distributions right here. I'm not sure what this is, how this explains this what this is showing but it's showing it for all the uh, the the layers of the model so when what it's showing here is all the layers let me see if we can go to YOLO 4 all the layers for the, the the YOLO 4 
So here's all the layers. And then over here, it's, just, it's the same layers, but this breaks down what, 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 ha what happened inside each one. And then there's also the histograms. time series so there's a lot of stuff in here <clears throat> and what I what I've changed is how I've kind of done this was in the spec folders Let's see um, when I did it, I, I did different learning rates. Here's the one. And by the way, if you guys aren't used to this, what this really means is that's uh, one, two, three, oh, sorry, point, point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. This is what this means. And this one would be point, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the places and that's the number at the very end so this is what this means but anyway so that's what I did I, I ran different uh, uh, models and I changed the learning rates and to differentiate them like I had this one I ran a model where this was five and two and I ran a model when this was seven and four and then I ran this is the model of this right here so that's the, the YOLO the YOLO one so now let's go Okay, you know, before we leave, I'm going to show you how to do multiple ones. So let's say we want to check all these. So what we do is we go to here. I'm going to kill this. And what it does is like I've loaded into the, I'm in, still in the YOLO 4 folder. Uh, you have to change this. This is a log directory underscore spec. And I did test 5 and 2. And then I pointed it at this one, 5 and 2. And then the, I wrote another test, 7 and 4. And I pointed at this, 7 and 4. And then I did another one called test, 9 and 6, which is just pointed right here at this folder right here, which is running the learning rate of the 9 and the 6. And then you just go enter. And then since I already have it run up here, I'm just going to refresh it. Now, as you can see, let's go back to the scalars. It, it has all the, it's looking at all the logs in here, like the log of the log folders. Now it just shows one here. So let's just refresh this again. Brings up the other one, refresh it again. Let's get it down here. The loss. Let's refresh that. See, now they're all there. So you can see you can run them all against each other. For some reason, this one shut down early. The one, this red one, the test nine and six. But you can you can run them. You can see how they performed. Like right here, this one. Uh, the you can see the best performance is the. The test 7.4 would be when, when we ran 7 and 4 as the learning rate. Uh, the validation loss. See right here, it makes it produce the best curve also. Well, it looks like uh, 9 and 6 produce the best curve here. Same thing with the images. It's, uh, it pulled uh, the images um, for each one. distributions for each one and each layer that's pretty cool that doesn't look pretty right there so now to be honest you I'm not super good at like deciphering these what I really use it for is this I basically just look here and stop I just basically look here and see which form performs the smoothest curves and uh, and and things like that.
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, run the DetectNet. So we're going to run the DetectNet uh, uh, tensor board. It's the same thing here. You just add trainer config visualization to the spec folder right here. So what we got to do is we're going to stop here, control C. And then uh, we're going to CD out of here and CD into the DetectNet folder. And then, so this is a 5.3, that's the learning rate right there, 5 and 3, excuse me. And the other one is 6 and 4, so that's this one. So let's run this. Like I say I pointed it at this folder. This one is pointed at this folder. Go up here. Since I've already got it running, let's just refresh it. So... So we got it here. Um, this is the scalers. See, this is the, the TechNet comes looks a little different than uh, the Yolo one. So you can see right here, it's got the two lines in there, the two. And then down here is the costs. It'd be nice if I could choose the different colors to help dif differentiate it total cost. And then here's the images, the same thing. It pulls the images. It pulls it with each layer. So in the DetectNet, it's different than the other ones because in DetectNet, it's looking for sp specific things in an image. Like here, it's just looking for this image. And if you go down to the bottom, you know, it starts bringing up images like here. Um, graphs. It's nice about this one. This one builds the graphs. You can see let's see. So this one you can build the graph. The distributions for each layer. Histograms for each layer and the time series. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys like that. Uh, that the Tal Toolkit team integrated TensorBoard into the Tal Toolkit very nicely. So this is going to help a lot on like tweaking your models and and getting results quicker so you can tweak them faster and you know just yeah uh, you know tweak things get a result tweak it again and tweak it again until you get what you like. Well, anyway so I hope this helps everybody out and like I say I'll put a link to like uh, everything all you know how to do this how to get to the tensor board the tau toolkit how to install the tensor board and and uh you know i hope this everybody helps everybody out well thank you very much bye